In today's news, New York City criminals move houses to escape bright lighting. The Paris Metro is set to install Wi-Fi across the network using lights. And Norway signs the check on a half billion dollar spend on LEDs. Lux Today starts in just a moment. Stick around. Hello and welcome to Lux Today. I'm Courtney Ferguson. It seemed like a good idea when New York City allocated $80 million to improve the lighting at 15 of its most crime-ridden public housing projects. But something happened. The criminals moved to other locations. The knifers and muggers moved after New York installed temporary high-powered lights in preparation for the permanent new lighting while also adding other security measures. In some cases, the crime has simply moved across the street. Crime fell at 10 of the 15 projects, and in one example in the Bronx, crime dropped 50%. The New York experience will be seized upon by those who argue that lighting does cut crime. Meanwhile, lighting is set to cut boredom for Paris commuters as the city explores the possibility of installing Wi-Fi using the LED lights. They want to use the emerging technology known as Li-Fi to deliver the internet to Parisians' laptops and smartphones. Project leader Gil Reimenschneider says the LED lights currently being installed at all 320 metro stations across the French capital are the perfect network to deliver digital data. After this short break, why Norway is spending half a billion dollars on LEDs. Stay tuned. A question, how do you make your LED products stand out from the crowd with custom LED optics from Forge Europa? Here's how it works. First, we agree specifications for everything, performance, guide costs, and timescales. Then we crack on with the design. This is iterative, and it involves LED device modeling and selection, 3D mechanical design, optical ray tracing, and mobile tool optimization. For LED modeling, we've developed our own tool sets, and with this capability, we can compare LEDs from any manufacturer and optimize for whatever you need. Efficiency, cost, power, lifetime, color, and so on. For mechanical design and optical ray tracing, we use the latest in CAD software. It's Inventor being used for mechanics, and here's Trace Pro being used to model light pathways. We can also use visualization tools to generate render graphics of your optics in their environment. And once we've agreed designs on paper, we'll produce test samples from pre-production tooling. We'll then test for you, and once approved, we'll manufacture tools for volume production. So that's it. We'll help you pick the best LED for the job. We'll design a unique optic. We'll design electronics and heat sinking if your product needs it, and we'll manufacture it all in volume. Custom LED optics that stand out from the crowd. Welcome back. Norway boasts over 1,000 road tunnels. It's even got the world's longest, the Lerdal Tunnel, which spans over 15 miles. Changing lamps in the tunnels is a maintenance nightmare, so the Norwegian road authorities have signed the check on a half billion dollar upgrade to LEDs. As well as the lighting, the tunnels will get better ventilation, fire protection, and emergency communications. Representatives of the Norwegian authorities will discuss the groundbreaking project at the first ever Road Tunnel Lighting Conference, which is organized by Lux. It takes place in Barcelona in October, and for more information, you can log on to tunnellightingconference.com. That wraps things up for us today. Remember, you can get all the latest lighting news globally, 24 hours a day, at luxreview.com. I'm Courtney Ferguson for Lux Today. We'll see you back here at the same time next week.